Um, I think one of my main policies is getting like e equality between sports teams and societies. I believe that every sports team and every society should have their equal chance to be benefited by the student union. I think it should be equal promotion of everything, making sure that societies are getting their voices out as well as sports teams and equal budgeting and stuff like that, making sure that we're just helping all sports teams and societies develop as much as they can. Uh, another thing is probably volunteering. I really want to push volunteering at the uni. I don't feel like we do enough. We do some but I think it's just an easy one that we can really push um, and better transportation as well so getting at least three buses fundraising for these through volunteering and getting a database of student drivers who would be paid to take people to their matches or take people on trips and stuff I think it'd be a really easy thing to do if we just organised a massive database and it'd be really like beneficial to all sports and societies that every single student has their own niche, whether they're really here to study and perfect their course or they're here to just kind of get really good life experience and I believe that the student union should be finding ways to support every single student. So if you're in sport, we already do Winton and Colours and stuff, but I do think we could promote matches a bit more, promote um, like the results of matches and I know we do Team of the Week but we should be doing Player of the Week and doing like um, bi biographies on different players to promote them and all the great work they do. And then with societies, I don't believe that people know enough about societies I think we could do something more in Freshers Week like have a, a society showcase so that beyond just sitting behind a desk and getting people to sign up to a society you're actually doing a showcase practically showing them demonstrations of the, the great stuff that kind of societies do um, and then there's other people like commuters who literally don't engage with the student union at all because they have, no, they have no way of doing so so more day events and like just meetups and stuff uh, so that maybe they want to like put on an event, volunteer for a day, like in between their lectures, just kind of accommodating for every single person's needs. Yeah, okay, well the Active Societies Committee, um, I just kind of, um, I, I'm part of a sports team, I'm on women's tennis and we're part of Team Winchester and it fills every student with such a great sense of pride. I want people in society to feel that too. Um, but then again, I'm not part of society, so I can't say what they want, but I feel like they should have more of a say of what they want. So having a society's committee where we can all get together and people can say, oh, look, we've done this this week and we've done that and, um, and kind of celebrating each other and learning best practice. Like, for example, if history's doing a really great social, I think other societies should, could benefit from hearing how they organise it and stuff like that. So having a committee where we all meet up together and discuss things and discuss issues creates a more of an open forum rather than just letting people get on with it. I want to try and support societies if they want it as best as I can. I think that um, I'm quite a different candidate. I'm not massively sporty. I am on a sports team but we don't actually participate um, in like bucks and things but I I'm absolutely excited about all sport. I may not be great at sport, but I love watching it and I love seeing how people are really excellent at what they do. And I want to promote the smaller sports teams and get their, their voices heard. And transport's a major issue, I think. I think we need at least three working buses for all teams and societies. And also, like I said, the database. So kind of getting people fairness of getting, the, getting to their matches and making sure that everyone's voices are heard and everyone's got a fair opportunity to, to succeed. Um, I also think that... Um, oh, what was I going to say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, um, as Vice President of Activities, I'm not just in charge of sports teams and societies, I'm also in charge of all student engagement. Oh, so whether it's like, what's going on in the terrace bar during the day, is there something special that we could get people in between their lectures to come and participate in? Volunteering. I don't think volunteering is promoted enough at this uni. I think there's a plenty of students who would actually get involved if they knew how to. So kind of promoting that um, as much as I can. Um, and just, I think that, like I say in my manifesto, everyone deserves to be celebrated no matter what their interests are. Um, and for example, like, like Winnell, it's such a great, it's not a society, they run themselves, but I think the student union can still support them. So I kind of want to just offer everyone the opportunity to get, in, for, to get support for whatever they're doing outside of their learning. I think that I'm a great candidate for Vice President Activities because I am female uh, and that's quite a bold thing to say but if I was elected I'd be the first female Vice President of Activities in 13 years. I think we need better representation for women in sport and I think I'm the perfect candidate to be able to represent men and women both equally and getting us all celebrated so yeah I just want to celebrate the amazing work that sports teams do because they are great but everyone just deserves equal opportunities to kind of excel. Um, what I want to do is I really want to keep the whole uh, activated accreditation thing that's been going this year as it gives uh, sports and societies a, a fairer sort of uh, way to get funding. So um, for example like you've got three levels 
bronze, uh, silver and gold and basically it just gets people more involved in the community and, and it's down to the students then to sort of get themselves out there and like make make themselves aware but it would be my responsibility responsibility as well to sort of help uh, promote them and everything like that and make the whole university aware as well that there are a load of good sports teams and societies around that can cater for their needs and ultimately their student experience. Okay, the second thing I really want to do is I just really want to help increase uh, participation levels around the uni. So uh, like I know that societies are something that have sort of suffered as a result of uh, like some bad promotion, like not really getting themselves out there. People don't really know about them too much. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to create a sort of like e-newsletter, which would not only run alongside uh, Team Winchester News and Results, but it would also uh, involve like a focus on a society in each one, as well as well on top of like the other, what the other societies are up to. It would just be a given like a main focus on them, and on top of that, it would sort of be like a team of the week, so they could like go to Bob, dress up, like get involved, and like sort of bring both like societies and sports teams together <laughs> and sort of realise that uh, you know everyone has a sort of common goal here which is just to like meet new people, get involved and ultimately just enjoy themselves. Um, well firstly there's uh, this year I've been a uh, vice chairman of football so like I've helped to sort of uh, run a club and um, it's given me a great insight into what sort of things are needed to help improve on a, like an elite level as well so for example we got a coach in this year and he's been fantastic because he's been giving training to like all four men's teams and the women's team as well and as a result our results have sort of increased as well um, and the funding for that as well was like really really handy but we did that through the activated accreditation scheme so we all got involved in volunteering and that as well um, Increasing participation as well. Um, well, one of the things that um, got said to me a lot was uh, when I've been talking to people is uh, the participation of women. Um, a lot of people feel that um, you know girls need to be more represented at the university. So, what I'd like to do is, like, if I was elected in the last few weeks, like before the end of term, I'd like to sort of uh, collate a sort of video which would promote like women's sport. Um, so, like, go around all, all the teams that have um, like sort of done really well this year like women's dodgeball women's basketball we've had a fantastic season cheerleading who've been like absolutely fantastic with uh, their fundraising and like getting involved in everything to do with the university i'd like to like make a video for that and uh, just to like show prospective freshers as well that uh, there's a lot of opportunities for women in the sport and hopefully it can uh, help increase their participation levels as well um, but ultimately, like through the e-newsletter, I'd like to, that's like the main sort of thing I'd like to do to sort of help achieve, like um, help to like sort of show the university like what we're achieving as sports and societies, you know, and just like through that, like just gives students like a sense of pride, like they can get involved in it as well, and um, you know, like it would just like writing match reports, writing what they're all about, and ultimately that can like sort of give them a bit more involvement and hopefully uh, help for them to sort of feel like they've achieved something at this university as well um, well ultimately it's like it's what the students want to do like I want to get out there I want, I'm like quite an active like I'm a friendly outgoing person so like during like these sorts of the initial sort of like freshers week and just throughout the year I just like to get out there and like people who aren't getting involved in like groups and like sports teams I'd like to know like why they're not doing that like what sort of things they want to see if there's any other like sort of groups that they feel as though they could have like I'd like to like be like responsible for helping to try and like get those to happen just so they don't feel as though they're like left out at all because at the end of the day they're all, they're all a big part of the university as well not just the sports teams and the societies so I'll just be looking to get them all involved. Um, obviously I'd just like to build upon the success of this year you know um, through the Activate Accreditation Scheme which I keep on talking about um, you know it, it like gives students the opportunity to you know create participation and awareness within their sports so you know you've got people like teams like Dodgeball increasing their sort of like awareness through doing intramural tournaments and I really want to get those sorts of things uh, pushed out as well like I've been a coordinator of Winch Sixes this year which has helped to stop uh, the dropout rate of people who go to the football trials and they don't get into football like that caters for of like 165 students to go down on a Saturday night and participate in sports. I want to push that out across the board. So, for example, I had a really good chat with uh, men's basketball yesterday about the possibility of getting that sort of thing involved next year. And I got the suggestion of uh, three aside uh, sort of like leagues as well, because that apparently that's, wants to be turned into an Olympic sport. So it'd be great to sort of like push that sort of thing. I think people would be really keen to do that and obviously push that across like to girls as well. You know, like hockey is sort of quite a transferable sport that you can have a nice tournament with and netball and netball as well. I'd like really really like to see those get going as well so hopefully yeah like if elected I'd be able to push those sorts of things and hopefully uh, increase ultimately uh, participation and performance levels as well. I'd like to say that a vote for Stevie Fields would be pointing societies and sports teams in the right direction so give me a vote. Please. 
Uh, so the main issue is not to take it away from sport, the funding, but actually to do more events and put more money, like events for the local community, that will put more money back into their societies and in turn increase their awareness here at the UD so more students know what they're about as well as the local population. Uh, the first most important one that I want to uh, push through is for societies and their funding. I've spoken as like going around speaking to students the last few days, I've spoken to quite a few societies and it seems to be a key issue especially with them being able to sustain the societies and then secondly we've had a real successful year this year as Team Winchester so my main aim is to get more coaches in, more qualified coaches for our teams to push that through as well as uh, getting more non-competitive sports involved so we've got the Winch Sixers campaign that's been implemented this year in football and netball so my aim will be to take that into other sports that are dodgeball, basketball that can be done in the sports hall and people can do non-competitively with their friends, have a laugh, get involved, get active without having to pay the £40 bucks fee subs. Okay, so one of the main things, I'm not sure if you've been told about the accreditation scheme. Uh, that was also implemented this year, so there's quite a few things that have been done this year. So rather than me push new things through, I want to develop the ones we've got in place. Um, and that rewards sort of getting increase in participation numbers, increase in sort of charity work, fundraising work, which is why there's been a big rise in it this year. So to push that further, not just have, you know, the, the bronze, silver and gold are the three different levels you can get but to have actual meaning behind them, make the teams want to get them rather than just, you know, put it through. And, but also just making it more aware, so whether that's, you know, everyone's got a Facebook page as a sport, but pushing that so there's a bigger link, you know, whether that's on our, our website that we start up or whether that's just done by emails out to sports teams, etc. Okay, I think it's really important it's not just focus on Freshers' Fair because you know, it's quite a daunting experience coming to uni, especially as an 18 year old. Um, and that you're learning, you know, you're making friends with your housemates, trying to fit in, that sports and societies aren't always the first thing on your mind. So I think it's important that we have sort of promo days for all the different teams and societies where they can show off what they're about, what they're doing, whether that be on campus, so maybe at West Downs and their sports fit, like, you know, the fields there, Queens, get people involved without them having to make their trips down to Bar End or River Park where the sports take place. But actually go to them, get people out, you know, fortunately we haven't had quite nice weather <laughs> this year, but, you know, get people involved, get them seeing what they're doing because, as I said in the q and I'm sure a lot of students don't actually know what societies we have here and that's not to say they don't want to join it, it's just that they're not aware. So increasing awareness is a big thing next year, especially for societies and sports teams. Yeah, well, uh, myself, I've always been part of a team here and I think uh, participation is key. That's why I'm trying to push and go for this role. And uh, like I say, I think it's just awareness that isn't being big. I think if we increase awareness, it will benefit the teams and societies in general because of the increase in participation. But like I said, sorry, <coughs> with the um, accreditation scheme, if we can develop that, get feedback from the students that have had it this year to find out what they want and what they want to improve on, then we can hopefully increase that, you know, get more rewards going, get, you know, the community of Team Winchester and, you know, a society group maybe involved so that they've got their own sort of branding, if you like, um, and just make it a really like, great thing to be a part of. Sports teams at the university, I want to improve, you know, we had a great year as Team Winchester with a lot of teams finishing in the highest, you know, league places, um, as well as quite a few teams winning it. I mean, cricket, they got promoted last season, have got promoted again this season, so that's great to see. Um, but like I say, I think one of the biggest increases we've seen this year in that is due to coaches and having more qualified coaches which is something I think with the budgets that the teams get is applicable, you know, it's not, that's how I intend to do it because the teams can raise money through their fundraisers, through their promo days that I want to do. Um, ideally it'd be nice to, you know, see another minibus, uh, but that's not something that can be guaranteed. I think that's something that as a team Winchester, 
will have to do fundraising for so getting all the teams involved in a massive fundraiser maybe to get that money because it's all good <laughs> saying that <laughs> we need a new minibus or even just getting the repairs done to the old white one would be great just so that teams can I'll be like going to be able to get to their away fixtures because I mean the women's team this year have been playing in Wales so it's quite important that we've been able to have the minibus and use that as a equipment facility uh, but yeah so improve improve upon our coaches and our training and then likewise we are getting to the games and get the transport that we need basically yeah so this is my um, propaganda panda my propaganda panda has been coming out with me up to the halls to talk to students um, spreading the word about vote surge uh, and basically the idea behind it is that I wanted to prove that I wasn't just campaigning behind a desk that you know the student views and what the students want are equally as important to me like going out and talking to people so I've asked people who I've been talking to if they will have a picture with my propaganda panda and then that's been going on my vote surge Facebook page and they can tag themselves in it, spread the word but ultimately it's to show students that you know I'm not, I've not been wasting my time, I've been going out, talking to students, finding out what they want um, and that's what I'd intend to do if I was elected as a VP so it's just a, a little gimmick to show students what I'm about. Okay. Vote Sturge, the girl with the panda, our union, our societies, our teams, your knees first. <laughs>